Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday, May 22nd. I think it's the 22nd. No, sorry, it's the 21st. Who cares, right? I mean, it's like another day, except that it's beautiful out today. It's gorgeous. Um, I am actually heading outside to paint. We've been painting and painting and painting our whole house, all different parts of our house. We're trying to get things done that have needed to be done for years, and I'm sure so many of you are doing the same thing. So I've got my... Um, my painting shirt on, it's the shirt I just don't really like. And that way, if I get paint on it, who cares? I think I look like a crazy person. All I ever wear is black and gray. You can tell I'm from New York. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be a beautiful day. And I don't have any good stories because I feel like I'm running out. So hopefully something really weird will happen to me today. But, um, but I was thinking earlier that this is exactly the kind of day where, um, now friends, this is not okay to do. And that's why I'm going to tell you what I used to do instead. So, um... Um, sometimes the, the kids that I went to school with, if, if they were like kind of brave and naughty at the same time, they would like skip school. So what they would do is they wouldn't tell their parents and then they wouldn't go to school, which, oh, hello. Like I'm like, I told you already, I am such a rule follower. I hate getting in trouble. I don't like doing things that are bad. I don't like getting in trouble at all. It always really scares me. And so um, but like a day like today when it's like so perfect, this is my favorite kind of day. It's super sunny. There is literally not a cloud in the sky, but the wind is kind of blowing and the wind is kind of cold, but the sun is super hot. And I love days like this. So this would be a day that if I was a brave person, I would totally want to like skip school if I was a bad kid. But because I wasn't a bad kid, I wouldn't have done that. So what I used to do instead was I would actually ask my mom for permission to skip school. And my mom is so fantastic. My mom, okay, so several couple things. I guess I do have a story here. I didn't even realize it. Um, this always happens. This is like when you go to like talk to people who are there to like help you like a counselor and you're like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say and then two hours later you're crying and you're like oh my gosh I'm so glad I came here anyway um so so when I was a kid I would um ask my mom if I wanted to stay home on really beautiful days and my mom let me have like two days a year school days where she would let me stay home even though I wasn't sick but though but there were rules for those days so um, the reason this is what a big doofus I am but I this is just your this is just your teacher I only wanted to stay home, not to like do anything fun. Cause remember I didn't have a TV. So it's not like I was staying home watching TV. Oh no, I wanted to stay home so I could read all day. So my mom would let me take one day off in the fall and one day off in the spring where I could stay home and read all day. It was the best, but the rule was I had to read all day. Um, and it was like totally easy cause that's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. Even today I can sit down and read for six or seven hours and like, knock it up at all like it's it's like my superpower it's just the best um and so my mom would let me do that which was so great so I'd get a cup of tea get a big pile of books set them next to me and I would just read all day long and it was heaven but then when I got a little bit older and the weather got nice um all the cool kids would like skip school and go do fun things but like no way Jose would I ever do that because my my parents would kill me if I skipped school so I, um, instead I asked for permission. So I would say to my mom, listen, um, it's going to be a beautiful day. Um, all of my friends are going to be going wherever and going swimming, or we're going to go for a walk or they're going to go hiking. Cause we lived in a place where that's what we do for fun. Most of us would just go walking in the woods or go swimming someplace in a pond. So, um, that was what we did for fun. So I would ask for permission and my mom is so cool that she'd be like, yep. So she would write me a note, and as long as I was honest, I would always tell her where I was going to go and who I was going to be with, and I could, so then I would, like, skip school safely, which is kind of, like, wrong, but also so great. Sometimes you just need a day off, you know? So anyway, that was super fun. So I would do that when I was a kid, and I would walk from my school all the way back home, which is about, like, five miles. It's kind of a long way, so, um, but it was, like, totally worth it because then I could go home and, like, like go swimming in a pond or something um, and like read books. So um, I, I just decided as I'm telling this, there's no way I'm going to put this one on like for my kids today. So, because this is like really reinforcing bad, bad behavior. So I'm just not going to do that. Maybe I'll have to start doing like morning meetings for grownups, like for all of my friends here on Facebook, and then a different morning meeting for my other friends, my little friends, because 
I really don't want to encourage them to go swimming in a pond by themselves. That was probably a terrible choice. But my mom like trusted me and we were all together as long as the rule was you had to have somebody with you. And um, I and I definitely followed that rule most of the time. But um, yeah, so and all my Port Bell friends, you know, like we'd go to the pits, go to the gravel pits and go swimming. And it was not necessarily the safest place. So you always wanted to take a friend with you. And and because I grew up in like the 70s and 80s, um, I would take my friend and then I would take like baby oil and iodine or like a stick of butter. Why? A uh, hello? Because we didn't use sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen? What's that? Like how can you get a copper tone tan with like sunscreen? I mean, copper tone prevented you from getting a tan except it made you smell really good. So I used a lot of copper tone when I got old enough. But up until then, um, basically just fried myself with baby oil and iodine or in a pinch, a stick of butter. Gross, gross. Now I wear sunscreen every day. So I don't wanna get wrink more wrinkles. And already my freckles are coming out because I was in the sun yesterday for a while and already my freckles are coming out. And by like the end of next week, <sighs> My Irish will have popped out. So hope you all have a great day. Um, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. Skip school, skip work. Um, that's my advice to you today. That's what I think I'm going to do. Actually, I can't. I just can't. I got to go do work. But um, anyway, uh, this is just so rambling and crazy. I'm so sorry. I haven't taken my medicine, obviously. I need my ADHD medicine. But um, yeah, I'm not going to release this one to the kids because I just feel like it's it's a pretty bad habits. But um but yeah, super fun to think about when you were a kid and you just like all the baby oil and iodine, baby. All the stuff we did that was like crazy. Remember when we would walk around? Remember these weird fads where you would like, you would like eat sugar out of a bag? Like just sugar. Like we would just eat bags of sugar. Okay, that's, that's a good story. I'm going to have to do that one maybe. That's all the crazy fads we had. All right, have a great uh, Thursday. Um, stay beautiful, people. Wear sunscreen. Put on chapstick that protects your lips. My God, this has gotten really crazy. All right, have a great Thursday.